here. I'm Alt America with Bill Nye, the science guy. Thank you for coming in. Oh, no. It is I who must thank you. No, no. Nice Our time. Pleasure. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I know. I, we both appreciate that. Um, so you're here with Sophia. Can you what? tell us a little bit about the organization, um, kind of what you guys do? Well, the idea is you watch some video. You're a student, in our mind's head. You are a student, you're in school. You watch some video at home before you go to class, and the video <laughs> is relevant to what you're watching, what you're going to do in class. And so it allows the teacher to uh, have more time with each kid because the kids are watching something before they get to school. And I remind everybody, it sounds extraordinary, but it's not a panacea. I mean, you don't watch two hours of video before you go to class. It's about the test that people are running the last couple of years, about a minute per grade level. So if you're in Take third grade, you can watch two and a half, three minutes of video, and you go to class and you're ready. If you're a senior in high school, you can watch like 15 minutes. Sure. And then you go to class and you, it is hoped, you already have some insight into today's topic. Very cool. It's so. the flipped classroom. And you've got that motion too, I love it. So I've got some questions from some uh, local Spring Lake Elementary Spring students. Spring Lake Elementary. They love science. They love you. Cool. Um, so I'm just going to shoot them off here at you. So Alma M. from 7th grade says, what's the craziest thing you've done in the name of science? Um, well, I jumped off a bridge. That's pretty crazy. Twice. And uh, I uh, was in a kayak talking to guys to the camera in another kayak. And I was underwater. I went over this little waterfall while I was looking at them instead of where I was going. I was underwater for 30 seconds, which is a long time. And you lived to talk about it. We love well, it. Sort, of, sort of, yeah. <laughs> uh, it's, it's a long time when you're not ready for it. Yeah. And the water's, uh, in the Pacific Northwest, the water's cool. And it's not Minnesota. <laughs> it's, it's cold. Cold enough. Yeah. Uh, Elja E. from 8th grade said, Bill Nye, if you have the chance to meet a famous scientist, dead or alive, who would that be? Uh, I've been asked this before, and I'll just tell you, Michael Faraday. Okay. Michael Faraday, we would not have anything in this room. We would not have the electronic camera without Michael Faraday. Michael Faraday discovered, or is credited with discovering, the relationship between electricity and magnetism. And he coined the, the expression, rather, the word electromagnetism. Electromagnetism allows us to generate electricity, and that's how we have everything. That's how we have everything. Awesome. Here's a wooden table. We wouldn't have a wooden table without a saw that was electric to make it, right? So then the woman comes up to him at the end of his demonstration, his end of his lecture, and said, when he first had it figured out, he moved, he had a magnet over here and it moved a compass needle over there, and the woman says, of what use is it? And he says, madam, of what use is a newborn babe? And if you think about it, newborn babies are not really that useful. Sure. They're loud, they leak, they don't really do much, but who knows what they'll become. That potential's there. It's amazing. Absolutely. Uh, ben L. from 8th grade said, did you always want to be a science scientist? Um, also, if not, what other career goals did you have? Well, I wanted to be a scientist or a pilot. I was real into being a fighter pilot for a while. Oh, very cool. Do you have your license? Or? No, I never, never, never did it. <clears throat> and the reasons are myriad, but... Uh, it was at a time when the military was shrinking, sure. and I met these pilots, and they said they flew about every six weeks. And that sounded like a long time. Yeah. So I didn't. I mean, if you were a baseball player and you played once every six weeks, you wouldn't feel that great about it. No, probably not. Yeah. Well, we feel like you're accomplished enough. So, um, Ryan K. from eighth grade said, "Did you do the research for your own show?" I did a lot of it. Back in those days, Ryan. <laughs> We had to look things up in books. We didn't have the internet. <laughs> no, it was a pain in the neck. Yeah. Uh, we did do a lot of, I did a lot of research. Uh, we had two other people that were really good. Me and Amy were really good. But uh, I did a lot of it myself. I was the head writer. When you have your own show, when you have a host of a show, the host has to really participate in the writing or it will not come out right. It will not sure. be an extension of the person. Sure. Then it won't work. Absolutely. Uh, Ann Lee from sixth grade said, what's your favorite science word? Electromagnetism is pretty good. That is pretty solid. But, uh, boy, that's a tough, I mean, who doesn't like hemoglobin? <laughs> uh, it's a, I have a lot of, I guess I can't say my favorite. 
But I do like fit anytime you got physics in there. Astrophysics, particle physics, uh, relativistic physics. It's all good. Yeah, it, you make them sound good too. But I mean, I like a Golgi body. I like a mitochondrium. Chondria. Who doesn't? Everyone loves yeah, it. Bacterium mitochondria, sir. We got one more question for you from Lami, a uh, seventh grader. What do you do when you fail, fail, fail? That's the question. Well, I remind <laughs> us something almost always goes wrong. Okay. You just got to roll with it. You got to roll with it. At this, at this demonstration today at the Mall of America, something will go wrong. But we will press on. We will roll with it. We will put on a good show. Invaluable advice. <laughs> oh, where do you go? Uh, and then I had a question. Yes. So what um, bow tie from your collection is your favorite? You don't, you don't have a favorite. Every, you know, there's a different one for every situation. This bow tie I'm wearing right now, I purchased about 10 minutes ago. Oh. Under uh, these extraordinary circumstances of an interview that happened in a men's clothing store. I won't say I was under pressure, <laughs> but I felt it was the right thing to do, and it is a pretty nice tie. It looks great on you. Well, thank you so much for your time. This old thing. <laughs> We're looking forward to seeing you do some demonstrations. We're going to tear it up. Thank Andy you. Andy Runquist and I are going to tear it up. Bill Nye. <laughs>